Hello. In the previous two videos, I laid out some concepts. Contour and searching line. In the searching line video, I started drawing the skull. And at the end of the video, I showed you what it looked like finished, but I didn't show you how I got there. To finish it, I put in some highlights and some shadows and figured I'd wait until I had a video explaining value. That's the idea of dark and light and then show the rest of the drawing as an example. Well, the production team's running a little bit behind, so I figured in the meantime, I'll just put the whole video of the drawing up here, maybe speed some parts up and just let you watch. The video about dark and light is in the works right now. This isn't the sped up part. I talked about why I do the underdrawing so quickly in the previous video. Once I'm done with the underdrawing and I have a good idea of the overall proportion, placement of shapes, that kind of thing, I'll use contour lines selectively to bring the whole drawing into focus just a little bit. After that, I'll put in those highlights and shadows that I was talking about. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit. I'm just using a charcoal pencil, and then I take a brush with some water on it and liquefy the charcoal for the shadows. After that, I just use some white acrylic paint to put in the highlights. I'm working on newsprint. Yeah, I know, totally non-archival. But it's got a nice off-whiteness that lets the highlights pop out just right. Anyway, Andrew sent me some new music, so I'll just let you sit back, listen to that, and watch the rest of the drawing happen. Hey, look, both hands. Well, only one at a time. Hey, uh, while we're waiting for the next song, don't forget to subscribe. And maybe tell a friend or two.
Oh, I forgot. I actually used some fine charcoal, turned on its side to block in those shadows. Then I use a wet brush to liquefy the charcoal and move it around a little bit. This part isn't sped up. Hey, still there? Well, as long as you are, let me talk about process for a minute. You might have noticed that I'm working through this drawing in stages. It's actually pretty important to me. I do one stage of the process at a time instead of drawing the individual things. Like I don't spend time drawing the whole eye socket, the whole jaw. Instead, I go through and do all of the searching lines, all the contour lines, and then the shadows, then all the highlights. The reason is that if I start drawing recognizable things, things I could look at and say, well, that's an eye socket, there's a little bit of a temptation to maybe think, what does a drawing of an eye socket look like? That can sort of lead to drawing a, a symbol instead of the shapes you're actually seeing. When I follow a process, say right now I'm using the white acrylic paint to draw the highlights, that particular stage of the process, that technique, makes me think of the whole drawing in a certain way. It can also bring a little bit of unity to your drawing and painting. Anyway, I'll let Andrew play us out and uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.